this is getting beyond ridiculous and parents shouldn't have to do this and speculation should not go to this level and people should not be harassing families or parents of any missing individual when there's no evidence against the parent. There's pure speculation. I need to find a perfect gift. I got you. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com and celebrate the people you love. Wow. 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 But now, Sebastian's mom, Katie Proudfoot, indicates it's gone too far. In a legal filing for an order of protection, Katie says Andrea Griffin, also known by her YouTube name of Bullhorn Betty, accused the family of harming their son while, quote, inciting the public and her followers to aid her in stalking. Katie calls the YouTuber, quote, dangerous. Andrew tells me she has not received the temporary order of protection, but claims she has not done anything illegal. If it is from her, then that's absolutely uh, a falsehood. They can go and look at all my lives. My lives never come down off my channel. Um, driving on a public property on public road with a camera hanging out. There's nothing unlawful about that. That happened over a month ago. Um, it was when my, it's the only time I've been in the Hendersonville area. The questions of this case are, are becoming more and more. Andrew says her main goal is to provide informational content to the public and to help find Sebastian. She tells me these accusations or just a distraction. I don't like the drama on the channel and the more I resist the drama and keep it focused about Sebastian, the more these distractions keep coming up. This is all about Sebastian Rogers, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. It's not about Seth Rogers. It's not about Katie Proudfoot. It's not about Christopher Proudfoot. It's about where is Sebastian Rogers and how can we bring him home? A court ordered hearing is set for August 8th at the Sumner County Courthouse. Each of Bullhorn Betty's YouTube videos will be summarized for the DA's office. Until that time, a temporary restraining order says Andra cannot stalk or come within 100 feet of Katie or her home. In Nashville, Caitlin Quisenberry, News 2. We reached out to Katie Proudfoot for comment and have not heard back. And if you watch each and every one of her videos, you can get your answer is there. There is a lot of speculation and there's a lot of speculation all over YouTube. So that's what we need to quit doing and focus on the issue of a missing child. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Love you all.